Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. This is the second episode of season 2, and we are focusing on high speed in this season. So last time I built this APM, you probably recognize this. This APM goes to spawn Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. So today, instead of working on the terminals again, we're actually gonna be building the actual tracks. So that would be exciting. So instead of the original plan where I'm going to the Volcano Island, I am going to go to North Tundra instead. So North Tundra is right here. So right now, Lily has this line called the High Speed Lily Pad Rail that goes like that. So I am going to build one from North Tundra down to Spawn right here. So I'm not sure if I'm going to integrate Lily's system into part of the high-speed rail system that I'm building, but we can figure that out later. So for now, I'm going to click on North Tundra, click the copy button on here, go back into Minecraft, and paste that in. Oh. Yeah, this is North Tundra. Lots of snowy trees, just like Narnia Station. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. So Lily's platforms are down here and Lily has allowed me to make a prototype of the platform down here temporarily. So she plans to have two tracks down the middle and also two tracks on each side, hopefully during doing a cross-platform interchange for trains going southbound so that people from spawn can change trains here easily. Okay, so right now there are trains running, but the platforms are a bit long. And let me count how many blocks the platforms are again, because I don't think it's exactly the same length as the ones I have. So we might have to fix that a little bit. Yeah, so it's 123 blocks, which is longer than 101 that we have at the spawn terminals. So I think what I'm going to do is make the general outline for the station like I usually do. I don't know what this middle track is, but I don't want to break it just yet in case it's actually for something important. So I'm going to find a platform block. Yeah, we can use the same one. We can always change that in the future. 12 blocks is probably enough. 12 blocks across. And then I'm going to put the platform block and three blocks for the other track. Okay, so I built the outline of the platform and then I stacked it 100 blocks. So theoretically, if I move the platform back to here, this should be 101 blocks, which is exactly four cars for the class 802. So let me verify that. Yep, that's 101 blocks. So this is a big open area and Two more platforms can go on each side. It's not going to be a big high-speed rail station, I think, but it's going to be big enough for people to transfer. So let me grab myself some platform rails and connect up these platforms. Okay, so Lily told me that those were just for making tunnels using the tunnel creator. I thought that was a pretty smart idea, but unfortunately I'm going to remove it in the middle at least so that I can continue building the station. Okay, so I've moved the platform so that they're all aligned and I numbered them 1, 3, 4, 2. It might be a little weird, like you might be wondering why did I name them like this? But I'm trying to make them so that outbound trains will be odd numbered and inbound trains would be even numbered. So actually, I might have done this wrong because we want the northbound trains coming out of spawn to interchange with the southbound trains of Lily's high speed. So this one should probably be platform two. This one should probably be a southbound track then. So we're going to have some crossover. So instead, we can probably do four, three, two, one. That might make more sense. So my spawn line, instead of going up on the left, is going to go south on the left. And then over down here, we're going to have a crossover 
so that the trains go in the correct direction again. So this is at least a prototype of how the station will look like. I'm going to clear out this water. I wonder where it came from. Oh, there are just pools of water up here. That's kind of cool how this biome's like that. Okay, the water's gone and I think we can continue building the tunnels. I refreshed Lily's high speed rail so the trains that come in should stop here now. Let me actually grab a passenger information display system and put it down here so that I can see when trains are coming in. Wow, 4 minutes and 9 minutes. Okay, that's very infrequent and it's going to be hard to test the trains. Okay, <laughs> I guess we'll just wait then. So here we're going we're going southbound. So I'm thinking it would be easier if we just made a just made a tunnel and stacked it first for a little bit, just like how I usually do for my other train systems. So I'm gonna have a five block wide tunnel. And I think five blocks high as well. So this is going to be my tunnel and I'm going to stack it like 50 blocks. Just to give a little bit of clearance before the train actually starts curving. This way we can have... Yeah, this way at the platforms you're not going to see the train suddenly like turn and cut through the platform. Oh, there's a minecart right here. Punch two. Okay. Oh, I can't close this back up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the minecart the minecart is going to be there forever now. Oh, actually I I even did this wrong. <laughs> the little minecart is just sitting out here. Okay, so actually yeah, I keep forgetting that we're going to go the opposite direction. So this platform is actually going south while this one is going north. So I have to switch the direction of this diamond rail like this. Okay, so now we can start making the curve. So first I want to make this go... I'm gonna use normal diamond rails, not one way, so that I can work from this direction. So I'm gonna go down to y equals 0 because I'm gonna use the north-south platforms. Oh wait, no! I'm going to use the east-west orientation platforms, which are at y equals 0. So right now I'm standing at y equals 0. That's where the track height is going to be. Now I need to figure out, so x is 1, 2, 6, 6. So this block right here would be where the track should go. Yep, so this is a straight shot up to here. And then I want this track to continue going this way, still at y equals 0. So I'm at negative 1, this is 0. Here. So this track curves smoothly from y equals 0 over this way and then finally another straight section from here actually I think in this situation stacking a tunnel would be easier all right so I did the tunnel so basically what this is is the train is going to go straight up till here take a gentle curve and then go up to platform 1 right there. And for this side, I'm planning to go straight without going down first, over this S-curve, and then down and over to this spot. Hopefully that makes sense why I'm doing this. It's so that I can crisscross the tracks over each other smoothly. Okay. So I'm going to go back here to where the station is and continue doing this through stacking. I think that would be the easiest method. So I'm going to try 500 blocks for now 
and check that I did not cut through anybody's railways. Okay, 500 actually seems pretty good because it just passed this point. Actually, maybe 400 will also be okay. 400 goes right about here. And if this rail comes down here and smoothly combines here, yeah, that would crisscross nicely. So this track comes down and curves and meets right here. Perfect. I'm gonna connect this section. Okay, now I will need the tunnel creator and the tunnel wall creator and the bridge creator. So three things at once. I'm going to grab all these things and build my tunnel. So I think last time I decided on the best order to use these, which goes in the order of bridge, wall, and then tunnel. Yeah, so I'm going to do the same thing here. And then I'm going to need to do this part as well. Basically all non-straight sections of track, I'm going to use the, the creator tools just to make my life easier. Actually, I could have used stone slabs for the bridge creator. But it's a bit too late now. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much because people aren't going to get off the train in here to be like, Oh, your tunnel isn't using slabs. No one's going to do that, right? <laughs> so we just wait for this to finish. This is going to take quite a while because I think I've started like nine operations. Yeah, look at that. That's going to take a while. So what I'm going to do is keep going for this section. So since we're at y equals zero, there's like a big mix of deep slate and normal stone. Because it's where it transitions. Okay, I'm going to keep stacking my tunnel now and hopefully I don't run into an anybody. I shouldn't, I think, because I'm so deep underground. But who knows? There's always surprises waiting for us. Wow, this comes over to an ocean. Oh, there's a monument here too. This would be a really cool island to make a station on, which connects to this monument, but it's not a priority right now. Let's see where I am on the map as well, actually. So I'm in between North Tundra. I've gone down like a thousand, at least a thousand blocks, and then Kettle Hole. Oh, that's pretty close to spawn. So Kettle Hole, and then this is green and spawn. Okay, so I'm at negative 2589 and I have to go down to negative 300. So I need to go about 2000 blocks and then I can start to think about turning. Okay, so it's a bit risky to stack 2000 at once. Oops. So I'm just going to stack 1,000 extra blocks for now. And hopefully I don't run into anybody again. So I'm going to just fly through just to double check. Okay, so that's the end of that 1,000 blocks. So I'm going to go one more. Sorry about the world edit lag, everyone. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Regen, the regen command, I think, takes the most resources. I don't know. Yeah, that's probably because it has to read the world seed as well and then calculate where all the blocks are going instead of just set, which just sets the block. Okay, so we're at negative 570 ish which means we're pretty close to spawn. So if we go diagonally this way, I see the boat that goes to sign height, so probably we passed it already. Yeah, so if we go straight west, we might be able to see it. Okay, that's the train going into the station. Right here. Okay. 
So not too far, but I just have to be careful of which direction I'm going. So I'm just here again to measure some coordinates. So I'm gonna say I'll take this northernmost platform because we're going north after going east. So this coordinate is z equals 95. Oh wait, no, 367. Yeah, 367. Actually, let me start from right here. So since we're at 367, I just built a little tunnel from here. I'm gonna grab myself some barriers so that visitors can't come through here. So as I talked about in the last episode, I have this mod called, what is it called? Visible Barriers. You all should totally check it out. And if I press B, it toggles between showing and hiding all these invisible blocks like barriers and light sources. So it's really easy to put barrier blocks and light blocks everywhere and not worry about losing them. I used to not use barrier blocks like ever for any of my builds, but since I found this mod, I started using barriers again because I used to be afraid that when I place it down, I'm never going to find it again. But with this mod, I don't have to worry about that because I just press B and they all show up. Oh, also another thing I need to remember to do is to make this double tracked. Right now I'm only making this as if there's only one track going down here. That's because I plan to make the single platform at the high speed terminal into a turn back platform, meaning that trains will just turn back at the same platform and the inbound trains won't use a second platform. I figured maybe that would be more realistic, but I'm not sure. But it'll at least save a platform and be easier for visitors because they won't be like, oh, this platform's actually not in use. Yeah, so I'm gonna stack this part too. All right, I just made this tunnel bigger and now I'm gonna start connecting them. Oops. So usually for the end sections like here, I like to use one-way tracks just to make sure that the trains don't go the wrong way. All right, I've connected the tracks. I've even put down a platform rail here. I think I will put a buffer at the end just to make it look a bit nicer. There we go. So finally, we need some signals so that the train isn't gonna collide. So the reason we need signaling is because if a train is sitting on this platform and another train tries to come in, it's gonna wait at this diamond rail and wait here. And this train's trying to go straight and that train on the platform is trying to come back out. And so it's gonna create a gridlock. That's why for all this single track section, we will need signals to make sure the trains don't do that. Yeah, so at most a train is gonna wait here while the second train pulls out there. But ideally, we would put signals on these one-way tracks as well so that the trains won't even wait at this section and overlap with each other visually. So it's just a nice little touch that is optional. It won't affect train behavior, but I'm going to put signaling on these two forks just to be safe. Okay, this is a good spot to start making the turn. There we go. So this is my other tunnel and I just connected these diamond rails. So let's see how the curve looks. Yeah, not too, not too sharp. I like that. So now we need all our tools again. This one and this one. And in fact, I'm gonna duplicate these so that they 
Pico at the same time. Oops. Oh, it looks like my other operations are done as well. Cool. Bridge first. Then wall. Then tunnel. Okay, now we wait. Let's check out the other... Oh, let's continue building these tracks first. So that we can connect, connect the diamond rails together. Wow, the SSD is really slow when loading these chunks. I'm just flying and trying to put down rails. But then, look. It's just not loading. Maybe it's also the tunnel creator and stuff. Okay, finally it loaded. But hosting a server is not free. If you would want to help me with upgrading some of the parts, I would really appreciate that. You can support me through Patreon. Links are in the description below. And with that said, I hope everyone has a good time. If you want to join the server, make sure to join the Discord server and all the instructions are on there. I've had a lot of people asking me how to join recently, so please be sure to check out Discord before you ask around. And we're excited to have you join us. Okay, so that part finished, as I said earlier, but then the wall cuts through this main tunnel, so I'm gonna set zero here. It's kind of like what we had to do with the Deluxe Breakfast and McFlurry Tunnel that we have to revise it a little bit after it was done because it would be cutting through the other one. So let's double check to see if everything generated correctly. So that one, that curve looks nice. And then this one looks really smooth as well. And this part goes up to the station. Perfect. I'm really excited about this. Oh, and also there's a train going northbound that is pulling in soon. I'm gonna wait for that just to look to see if it stops at the right spot on the platform. So for high-speed trains, I think in general there aren't usually platform screen doors or automatic platform gates. I don't know if I'm gonna end up installing them, but in general I don't think I will. At least at this moment. So it feels more like a real high-speed system. Wow, the train's acceleration is pretty slow. Which is realistic, so there's that. Alright, cool. I think the train stopped at the right spot. Yeah, that was perfect. Goodbye, train. I don't know how long your dwell time was recently, so Lily, you might have to change this a bit later. Because high-speed trains usually dwell for longer, because they're not metro trains. People have to take time to like walk out from the middle of the car and then grab this their luggage w. and then Sam make their way out slowly BTC. and <laughs> the door just closed so that wouldn't work in real life okay so this train is just gonna go right through the wall but that's okay because lily hasn't built the tunnels yet but i have and this is what it looks like i think i'm gonna remove the walls of this a little bit Just so that it kind of sits flush with the tunnel, with the stone, especially on this side. It looks a bit weird to have a tube just coming out like this. So right about here, I think it's good. <laughs> the minecart. Okay. So these platforms are going to be like that. So I'm going to run a temporary service just because I'm excited to get the trains running. What I'm going to do is make a temporary turn back like I always do. It's going to cut through the walls, but it doesn't matter. It's just to get things started. So, I have not set up a naming convention for the high-speed system yet. So I know Sentown had a system which started with the letter G. So, for example, G5301 to Keishek Ding. And it's kind of like numbered like flight numbers where the first letter stands for something and then the other letters, the numbers will indicate the number of the service or something like that. I'm not too sure. But 
I'm not gonna worry about that for now. I'm gonna start at North Tundra and go to this platform and call it, I don't know, just North Tundra, North Tundra line. It wouldn't make sense to call each of them high speed as well. I also have to figure out where to put my siding. So there's not enough space to do it right here. So maybe I have to remove that buffer and put it further in. Actually, here's a little hack, but some people might not like it. <laughs> yeah, if I hide this siding right underneath the platform, then I can ensure that it is 101 blocks long. So let me show you what I mean. So if I put a short rail here and then make the siding go from there to here. <laughs> I also will probably not deal with this HSR measuring trains anymore. Yeah, so only only this part will have the fake trains, and then this one will actually be a real one. So I do want, wait, I don't want unlimited vehicles yet. I want to add a depot here called North Tundra with the instructions like that. And then if I refresh, all right. So I had to create a little route called a turnback route just so that they can start and end on the same exact platform, which means I can in repeat instructions forever. So once the train starts moving, it's not going to show up in this siding anymore. So essentially it's going to be running back and forth forever. So my little hidden siding, no one's ever going to see trains going in and out unless I cleared the trains and then the train has to start there again. But yeah, our first route is officially running. Okay, so before I open this up for passengers, I'm going to block this off with barriers. Probably this intercar barrier thing would be appropriate for this situation. I'll just use world edit to set it. There we go. So right now, people won't be able to get on the trains if they come. Okay, so I have to figure out where to put the passenger information display systems because they'll be pretty useful for finding out when the train's gonna come. Mm, since these are four blocks wide, I can't really just put one along here. So maybe in between cars, like I usually do, might be a good idea, like that. And then probably a crossbar. I use the LU crossbar way too much, but it's really useful. So I'm really happy that it's added in the LU add-on. Yeah, it's really versatile for basically anything. Um, will this look weird? Maybe I should put the pull here instead. Cool, and then copy and paste it between cars. Oh, the train's coming back already. Should we take a ride? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm standing so close to the train, like I'm, I'm like getting hit. Okay. I'm in the first train. So let me go to the front and enjoy the ride. Next station, North Tundra. Interchange station for the high speed Lilipad rail. Wow, I'm surprised the chunks can catch up because sometimes when we're going 300, the chunks won't catch up. And then, yeah, maybe I said that too soon. It's going well so far, and this is quite an enjoyable ride, I would say. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
it's kind of keeping up. Look at that. The chunks are like half loading. Oh, okay. I guess not the worst. Let's see. The MSPT is still around 10, 11, which is really good. It's just the chunks aren't loading, so it's a problem with my SSD. Not necessarily too much of the RAM. All right, so the train has flipped tracks. Now we're going on the right side. Not like correct, but like right as in left and right. <laughs> I always like left hand traffic better. So, oh. Okay, that was a bit of lag, but I'm off the train. All right, so this is the very first high speed ride that we had. And I'd say that was a success. I'm gonna put the same design of uh, arrival poles. Okay, the train went back to the other side. Goodbye train. I feel like we can add more trains and it'll be fine. Um, let's go to the system map and see how the route looks. Okay, so there, from the high speed terminal one, we can see the North Tundra line goes parallel with the other, with Lily's high speed, and it goes up here. So the whole journey takes about 1 minute and 30 seconds times 2, which is 3 minutes. And maybe we'll give it an extra 20 seconds for buffer. So 3 minutes, 20 seconds. So 3 minutes plus 20 seconds will be 200 seconds. So if we want to run one minute intervals or maybe 50 second intervals, then we can have four trains on the line. I feel like we can fit more trains on there. So what's 50 times 1.5 is, no, 50 divided by 1.5 is 33 seconds. I feel like we can run that frequency. So I'm gonna go back to my siding and make that six. This is crazy, but I'm gonna see how that turns out. Yeah, the path looks good. Okay, now the trains will jam, theoretically, but after a while they'll space themselves out, kind of like how the spawn grand circular works. So we just have to wait a little bit until the trains kind of even out, and then we can evaluate if we need to remove trains or add more. I know people are gonna say high speed rail is not supposed to be frequent and that's not realistic. <laughs> I know, I know. But isn't it more fun like this? Everyone's like, no, it's not more fun because it's not realistic. Okay, so I, I guess for now we will add more trains and then later if we want to remove them, then we can always do that as well. And also when we expand the line, continuing towards Lily's area, then maybe we can adjust the frequencies at that time as well. Oh, there's an 802 coming in. Sleepy looks excited. <laughs> Look at Sleepy, looking at the trains. Oh, I should probably tell, tell her that it's a temporary turn back for now. <laughs> I guess she can figure it out, it's kind of obvious. But this train goes directly to spawn. Yeah. Okay, I've pasted in the information displays. I'm gonna put this here as well for this other platform. Okay, so even though this is still very much work in progress, I would say this has been a success. So I added Bak Dongyun scene to the Chinese of this line, which is North Tundra line translated. And then I'm gonna add a root number as well. So I think to keep it consistent, I will have a scheme sort of like S for spawn. So trains departing and entering spawn. And then one for northern lines. No, one for terminal one. And then one for northern lines. And then line number one. Yeah, I think, I think that's a decent numbering system. So spawn terminal one and then to the north, and then the first line to the north. 
S1101. Okay, so let's see how the announcements look like. 本班为 S1101 线列车前往重生区高铁一号客运大楼。This is route S1101 to Spon High Street. 下一站，重生区高铁一号客运大楼。乘客可以转乘重生区高铁客运大楼旅客自动输送系统或高速河叶铁路。Next stop, Spon High Street Rail Terminal. Interchange station for the Spon High Street Terminal automatic people mover and high speed lily pad rail. What's this line? Lily has allowed me to delete that line for now, so then the announcement shouldn't show the high-speed lily pad rail anymore. Oh, we're in the void again. Chunks aren't keeping up. Mm. Oh, did it jam? Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, because we have that turn back right there, which which will cause it to have to wait longer. There's probably another train in front already, right? Yeah, I should probably not make it so frequent in this case. Yeah, there's another train going in and out. It probably takes a whole minute or at least 30 or 40 seconds for the train to come in here, wait, and then come back out. So I can't run my line so frequently. So I think four trains might be better. Yeah, let's change that to four. And then if we decrease the number of trains, we're gonna have to clear trains. <laughs> Express Rail Fanner really wants to try out this line, but it's work in progress. So I don't know, should I let you in? I have to at least wait for the trains to cycle through first. Oh, I just realized people could probably parkour like from the handrail to the platform. Is that possible? Or up here, yeah. You could definitely jump in. <laughs> so if people are smart enough, they could do that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I know about that. Wait. Why is there another line here as well? I thought I deleted it. And why is... Why are they not marked as high speed? What is this high speed? Okay, so now Terminal 1, there's only the North Tundra line. Good. Okay, I'm not trying to like delete your lines on purpose, Lily, but it's just overlapping so if we show the train layer only the metro routes show up and then if we enable the high speed layer the new ones show up wow there's actually a good bit of natural lighting here i thought this would be pitch black but that's nice so i think what i'll do for now is to put some light blocks because i'm lazy okay i just i just put a bunch of light blocks here so that if people do stumble into the station, they can at least see where they're going. I wonder where Express Rail Fanner is right now. Oh, you're back at Sign Heights? Hey, anyway, I'm not gonna worry about if they <laughs> jumped over the fence to take the train or not. Because I need to set up some signs here now that the trains are running. So I think I'm just gonna do the standard design where I have this pointing the HSR icon like that so maybe if we have more stuff in the future we can add those I wonder if the black and white logo would look nice uh, I guess I prefer the orange one <laughs> don't complain about the APM it's perfect as it is <laughs> Overhaul the tracks. All right, so the other side will have a sign like that too. Well, for here, we also need a sign pointing down to the platform. Maybe we can hang it from the ceiling. Okay, just started putting up some signs. So we have the escalator ones 
which one goes down, which one goes up, and then we also have the root or the platform sign. I think if we do a similar thing right here, we can probably move the passenger information display system over to here just so that it looks a little more uniform. And we also won't have to overhang over to the platform edge as well, which might be a little too far out. So like this, I'm thinking. Okay, I think I've done what I wanted to do. So here, it's still blocked off and I put the passenger information display systems for all of the platforms now and the escalator signs as well. So I just copied the signs and the platform displays here. I'm looking at the system map again and the light tan line is my high speed rail and Sleepy actually renamed the system for me. So the numbering of the route has changed. So this is according to the British rail standard, I think. I asked Sleepy what this numbering meant and I thought that was a pretty good system as well. So it's different from the Chinese or Asian system with one letter and then four numbers. So instead, this first number, I think it's the priority. The priority is like nine is the highest and then it goes from one, two, three, four, and so on. And then the three letters is gonna be the short form of that station. So SPW stands for spawn. And then 08 is just the number for the root. And I think that number for now is arbitrary. So for Lily's one, it's 02 and 83. So I think this numbering system works as well. So I'm gonna leave that for now. All right, so I'm here with Cake. Do you wanna say hi? Hello. And Cake is the one that built this orange line. So we're at Lower River Station and we're gonna tour Cake's line to, where are we going, Bayside? Or we're gonna stop we, before um, that? We are gonna go to Bayside. Okay. Yeah, I decided to make the line a bit too bright for night vision. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is... Wow, this using unrefurbished M trains. And I think you customized the texture a little yeah, bit as so well, I've, right? um, I've also made custom maps inside to yeah. be with the line as well. Nice. So this green line is going to be planned in the future, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, and we're at the orange line. Are we on the right side or the left side? of the map on on the left side okay so this light blue interchange is that a future line or slow? um the light blue interchange is the snowland express oh the snowland express Doors will open on the yes right. yeah, but it's not built yet right no not yet okay you so still the... have to walk yeah <laughs> And then the second one is Q Island, which we're going to, and then, nice, eventually we'll meet up with the future green line as well. Yes. I like the red stripe going across the, the side of the train. <laughs> it's like, almost like it should have been there in the first place. I when I was building the tunnels at Q Island, the track that you see on the left is slightly higher than the one on the right. Oh yeah. Next station is. <laughs> is that Mountain intentional? Forest. No. The doors will open on the left. It was because when the train departs Lower River and turns right, it has to go on top of each other, so um, it goes right side running instead of left. Oh, and so it has to, like. Do a crisscross Go. in the middle. Yes. Nice. Oh, and I see you have custom announcements too, like you turned off the default announcements. Yep, I'm still working on adding um, annou custom announcements on nice. each station. Oh, K-Train. I, yep. I'm also thinking of adding sound announcements when I'm done making the line. Oh, I see. Yeah, it probably sounds much better than the text-to-speech stuff. It absolutely does. <laughs> I 
I like the station design so far. It's like a more open design compared to the other Asian style stations Next we have on the server. Hills. Indeed. Doors will open on the right. Oh, with custom announcements, you can also make it say like doors will open on the right. So for those who don't know about the updates, you can go into any of your lines and edit it. And there's a checkbox called Disable Next Station Announcements. So Cake has been doing that so that we don't hear the default ones that get generated. But instead, Cake used those uh, announcer blocks to make custom ones. This is Borough Hills. Heavily inspired on the New York subway systems. Yeah. It does feel a bit like that, <laughs> the style of the stations. They like to put like these poles really close to the platform edge, which I don't really understand. I think Doors they did it. The right. They added the poles to make sure that the ground above it, the station does not collapse into. That's true, but most other subway stations don't really do that. Yep. Oh, we're at Bayside already. This is a short line. Oh, it looks like Navi has joined us for the tour as well. <laughs> Yes, I'm here. I just go to Audacity and close all the windows, and I forgot to to take the photos because oh oh my no, so oh well, I just closed them. Um, I'm living in like something something where like country countryside, so the Wi-Fi network is not good at all. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, but then you've been playing on the server, okay, though, right? Yes, yes. That's good. Like, this is Bayside uh, North. I'm still working on Bayside North, oh, and because it interchanges with the green line, I oh. have to. So make that's what the future platform platforms. is for. Yep. And this is the, the last train stop, will right? go around. Yes, yes the so... train will now go around okay. and drive on the other platform. Nice. So, where the and... K train is, that's the green line? No, that's the siding. Oh. So the green line, if you use spectator mode, is underneath. Underneath? Oh, nice. Green oh, shulker oh, oh. boxes. <laughs> QR frequently used in spawn stations. Oh, really? <laughs> Isn't it going to yes. lag a lot because it's like a chest, basically? No, I don't think so. If, do you know 2B2T, the anarchy server? They use shulker boxes to crush the server. Yeah. <laughs> but of course we are not going to use that because everyone is in adventure mode and you don't have to really like think about these. Yeah. Okay, it looks like lower or Bayside North has no exit as well. So the train will just go through here and turn around. Yeah. Yep. Um, I think we can go to Bayside, and there's, I think, um, an apartment. Um, there are something. two apartment blocks at Bayside, alongside with a bridge to an island. Okay, sure, yeah. Let's check it out. But we have to wait two minutes. Yes, we have to wait a train. We just missed that train. And like I missed tech line, just add the uh, C381 train, which is based on the C train and... Oh yeah, I think I saw it last time. Do you want to also tour us around after this so that I can get it on the video as well? The C381 train is made by T and I do some enchantment on it. Oh, nice. Just a little bit on, on the doors because she just used my um, C321 texture and just paste on it and yeah. It doesn't look bright to me because C three eight one stores is like the same uh, um C three seven one, which is like um they have some differences. Oh, I've and... never been to Taiwan, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, yes, because like I do have claimed that I have all of um except the well, um West Tank House GTO. I have all the Taipei Metro sounds like. Um, VVVF and door sounds because oh, yeah. some reason I don't want to say it in public so I do, I'm not going to say it. Okay, that's fine. But it's cool that you have so many recordings. We have to wait for the train to come over this side, right? Yes. And I just heard that um, Speed Jones and Autobus are going to make Crossrail, 
which is yeah, they're good. gonna try and connect east and west together. Yeah, yes, I'm pretty excited about their proposal. Yes, me as well because um, yes, they they start at my station, which is already um, cause it. For me, it considered to be overwhelmed already. Really? Because I, I didn't I didn't even reserve a place for them. But but um, actually, there are a lot of empty spaces on the on my concourse, and I do have planned for shops for Southwest Plains Station. But then I just um, give it up. Uh, give up because i don't know should i make a proposal on build a proposal channel for that and um i think it is like very bored oh. um, something because you know um your um, mac flurry or um deluxe breakfast also have some same thing like um shops and <laughs> i'm excited to have them interchange at void park station because void park has a lot of space for people to interchange yes. void park um in my opinion for Void Park is a good place, but I think there is still a problem in Void Park because the concourse, the concourse is really big, yeah. and but a problem is that um, I think wow. there are no places for the interchange. I like these buildings, by the way. They look very simple, but the design is nice. Like I like how mm -hmm. the leaves are it's, like it is like all like around. Some some of the Hong Kong apartments, like... It looks almost like a school as well. <laughs> Why is the road red? Is there a reason? Because of the area of Bayside being relatively small, I oh. was thinking of making it bike lanes instead. And for me, bike lanes are red. Oh, nice. In Seattle, the bus lanes are red and the bike lanes are green. Oh, I like this. Oh, wow. Yeah, the water is like over the tracks and then there's glass underneath. But like, because of the Minecraft visual bug, if you're down here at the bottom, you won't see the water. <laughs> because of translucent blocks. Yes, yes. No, I, I still see a bit here, if you look here. Um, yeah, like weird, yeah, weird but, angles. But not, not um, like, um, yes, visual bugs. But you, you can still see the water. Cake, are you going to put water in here as well? Yes, I, I will. Actually, I think this... is these made with um, debug stick? These. Yes. Wait, where? Oh, oh the We're redstone lamp. Is. Yes, like they're not redstone powered. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's back to. Let's go to the the Wilds Railway. Oh, good. I need um, to go sleep. Sorry, guys. See you. Oh, no worries. Okay, Have a good I... night. Thank you. I'm just in the sp in the spawn point. Okay, we're here now. <laughs> okay. Wait, is um, there a new sign? We, we're not gonna go, gonna go to take bus. We we're gonna go to directly go to the spawn grand circular. Okay. Because why not? You're gonna fly up. You're not gonna take the escalators properly. Are we taking this one? No, 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 no. Yanjiang Mansha. We need to go to Yanjiang Mansha. Okay. We, if you want, we, if we want to assess. Wilds Railway, you need that. Yeah, so we are ending here in in the multi-story car park and uh, um, Swan Station bus stop. Yeah, we'll look at that next time. So thank you everyone for watching this episode. We did a lot today. We built the high speed up north to North Tundra. And we also traveled with Cake and Navi to take a look at the different different lines that they had. Okay, so make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the series and press like if you liked the video. Stay tuned for more episodes. And be a ba patron if you if you want to uh, support Jonathan. Yeah. Goodbye and see you later. See ya. Bye.